I'm Kerry and I'm going to show you around my workspace. I do actually get loads of questions about um, home, work, life, balance and professionalism within um, a home salon environment. It's really difficult for loads of you out there who've got young kids, dogs, cats or whatever, a husband, boyfriend who leaves the place a mess. It's uh, it's difficult being very, very professional in that sort of circumstance. Some people are really lucky and they have a spare room. I don't actually have a spare room. This would be where my dining table is. I have a living room diner, so it's my living room. And the dining room is now my workspace. I also do have pets, so any new clients that come, I have to remember that I check with them first, that they don't have any allergies, if they're gonna come into a home with pet hair in it, you don't want to start someone's allergy off and then be sneezing all the way through uh, an appointment. I also have to remember that whilst I'm trying to be the best professional that I can be, my clients are professionals in their own right and they work very hard. So when they spend their hard earned money on a nail appointment with me, this is their relaxation time. It's a luxury service and we work in a luxury industry. So you want your environment to look professional, be hygienic, be comfortable, relaxing. And so you want your client to get the best enjoyment, the best quality and the best value service. So one of the most simple ways of making your workspace a little bit more professional, if you do have the wall space, certificates and insurance. That's always a good start because it's an instant visual to your clients of the training that you've done, the fact that you're insured, that you continue to do further education, to keep your skills up to date, to stay relevant with products that are released. And to be honest, when you work at home on your own, you don't have anybody else to bounce off, you can get a little bit stale. I often feel myself feeling a little bit uninspired. I'll go on a training course with someone and you come home feeling really enthusiastic about cracking on with work again. So you can see on my wall I have all of the certificates that I first took with Essential Nails, all of the courses, the tip and overlay, the acrylic, the gel, the maintenance, etc, etc, and a Master Tech art course that Kirsty Meakin taught that taught the basics of all acrylic sculpting and 3D artwork, which I loved. That inspired me then to go on and seek more education with more educators. It's actually a little bit of an accident that I ended up in the nail business. I took a career break from the civil service and decided to do a few nail courses because I did my own nails at home and obviously it's led to this. So I did the Kirsty making course with essential nails and then I was very lucky that I discovered Gemma Lambert Lewis from the nail team. So I then went and did loads of training with the nail team. 3D artwork, acrylic painting, the, the one stroke, the Russian art and the aquarelle. Then training with Alexa, which was gel polish, macro art, Hazel Dixon's extreme 3D shapes, fantasy art and 3D gel. I've loved all the training. Of course, when you go to an independent educator, they have their own skills, their own style, their own technique. And all those tiny little tricks and tips that they can give you, it just develops you, brings you on to the next level. Learning somebody else's style improves your own work and your designs develop and the quality and standard of your work improves. So there's my little office space um, and obviously all the certificates. I have put down a laminate floor for the wheelie chair. This would be my office chair but it becomes my client chair. Where my client sits, I have all of my display work. I have display boxes with previous work that I've done over the years. I haven't done any more recently because I haven't had time, I've been doing nails. But all of this demonstrates colour, glitter, the polishes, styles of flower, styles of painting, anything you think of. Your clients can use this for inspiration if they come in and they like one little element of one tip. Um, recent training. I have 
a little iPad mini here, which is always on Instagram for my clients to have a good nose yet when they come in if they want to look for inspiration. And all of my gel polishes, well, not all of them, but most, <laughs> I've got trays and trays and trays of glitter. So we've got it all in colour, like whites and silvers, all the pinks. This is odd stuff, chameleon flakes, big chunky bits of foil, fairy dust, etc. Um, purples and greys and blacks, blues, turquoises, golds, oranges. So this is my vented table and it was rather expensive, but I think if you're working from home, they are invaluable because the smells and odors are reduced by the carbon filter in it but it keeps the dust down and i can't work without it now actually um if i was working in a salon i'd probably end up with a bigger air purifier as well but this does keep the dust down when you've been e-filing a money pro i do have two e-files but i do prefer to use this little power pack to eliminate the extra cables in the salon everybody needs a desk light I have a Gucci little clamp attached to my table for um, when I want to film. This is my cupboard on the left hand side of my desk. I always love cut flowers. I think they make the salon smell really lovely. And I've got twinkly little lights in the window. In the evenings, in the winter when it gets dark really quick, they're like sparkly little stars. It's gorgeous. My shelves are organized in the same way every time I can't move anything because they'll never end up finding it again but I do like everything to be within reach when I'm working so the bottom shelves have got extra bottles of spray prep and barbicide and stuff like that and soak off equipment um, obviously kitchen rolls we all need shares in a kitchen roll manufacturer I mean god I go through tons of the stuff I have little bits of art um, stuff in these drawers we've got loads of angel paper and striping tape and all sorts of odds and sods and bits and pieces sharpies obviously transfer foil I love foil it's absolutely brilliant stuff paints I have a lot of airbrush paint one stroke paint um, these are my favorites I do love the quality and the pigment of those crystal nails ones we've got gel paint in here and watercolor in here they were the palettes from training with alexa the next shelf up is probably my most important this has got everything on it that i use every day so top coats primers glue sanitizers acetone spray prep all the files metal tools extra filters for my little face mask which I still use a dust mask even though I've got this vented table brushes I had another pot like this but I had a little bit of a cull because when they're sat doing nothing they get a bit stagnant don't they so lots of art painting um, all the one stroke and then gel brushes acrylic brushes top shelf Swarovski bling you cannot scrimp on the Swarovskis there's rather a lot here, it's a big collection, did cost a lot of money, but obviously I have built my collection, you know, over, over quite a few years, spent quite a bit of money. Forms, we've got a whole shelf full of forms, loads of tips. I do still tip, but I do prefer to use the forms for sculpting. Look, oh, Frank the Unicorn. Woo, my daughter made Frank, isn't he cute? He sits there next to me at work. So behind me on the wall, I've got all the polish. I've got quite a few brands. I am a bit of a cherry picker. I like to buy lots of new brands and new releases and things on the market and try them all and see which I like the best. So there's all sorts of embellishments and glitter, more airbrush paint, shelf of chromes, all the essential nails gelays that I was using because it soaks off so well. We've got accents gel play, crystal nails, Lots of crystal pixie and small micro beads. Um, graffiti. Um, urban graffiti polish from Neo and then 
or the Jelly Fit. They're great high pigment for painting with. This is the shelf on the right of me and I keep all my acrylic on here. My little face mask that I use, my little dust mask that the extra filters in them and obviously more glasses in front of me filing. I've organised all my coloured acrylic in, into little boxes but I am, like I said, I'm a bit of a cherry picker. They're all my core powders. Boxes of reds and burgundies, greens, blues, turquoise, pinks, purples. I need to sort them out, I think. Oranges, yellows, golds. So I've got all sorts in here. We've got Glitz and Glam, Ink London, obviously. Love CJP. Um, some from the nail team when Gemma was working on this. So crystal nails. I love them, quite high pigment acrylic powders. So there we go guys, there's my workspace in my dining room and um, I hope you've really enjoyed having a little nosy through all of my cupboards. It's taken me years to get to this point where I have this much stock and I've built a client base up to the point where I'm so busy now. I am ready to move into a shop, but the benefits of a home salon, mm, they just seem to keep outweighing that responsibility of that massive amount of rent. So all that money you save every month, you can keep reinvesting in yourself. I've loved showing you around. It's been really exciting. And um, thanks for joining me.